My name is Christina, and this happened two years ago when I was 15. Just for you to know, it isn't really a scary story. I had a best friend named Edusa. She was from Nigeria. If you don't know, it's a country in Africa. She is very beautiful. She is caramel brown and has dark brown afro. Anyway, I wasn't that pretty. I mean, I wasn't ugly, but I had blood red hair and beautiful blue eyes, but let's just say she was top notch, at least to every guy. Anyway, this happened when we went to hang out. A white car stopped next to us, and a guy who was about 28 years old pulled down his window. He didn't look scary. He was actually very handsome. Where are you pretty ladies heading off to? He asked with a flirty grin. None of your business, Adisa said. What's the matter, pretty girl? He said, looking at Adisa. Of course, it was just about Adisa, I thought to myself. And what about you, cutie? He said, looking at me and winked. I was blushing. This was the first time a guy talked to me when Adisa was there. I was all over him at that point, but Adisa didn't really want to talk to him. But that didn't bother me. Actually, I was happy that I had him for myself. After 30 minutes of talking, he asked us if we wanted to ride with him. Get lost, freak, Adusa yelled, but I did want to ride with him. By the way, his car looked very expensive, so it would have been very exciting. So I told her that I wanted her to. I told her I was going to go. She tried to tell me not, but my mind was already set up. I entered the car and left Adusa behind. Everything was fine. We were just driving around, talking and laughing. It was already night, and I wanted to go home. I told him to bring me home. He nodded, so he drove and drove. After 30 minutes, I noticed he didn't even know my address, and he didn't ask for it. Where was he planning on bringing me? My naive self thought that maybe he was just going to leave me where he found me. We drove and drove until I fell asleep. I woke up by someone tying me up. I opened my eyes, and there he was, that 28-year-old guy tying me into a chair in a basement or something like that. He noticed I was awake and started grinning. Your friend there was really smart. You know, I would have preferred of taking her. I was confused. What? What are you talking about? And what are you doing? He didn't answer, just started laughing like a mad person. What the hell did I get myself into? Not long after, there was a knocking. He stopped laughing and went up to check who was there, and then they came down with a man who was in his mid-sixties. "'You promised me a refugee,' the man said. I was so confused. They were both talking about me and for how much the old man would buy me. I was very confused. I didn't know what I should do at that moment. Then, I heard a loud banging on the door. And then someone breaking inside the house and immediately ran towards the door and banged it open. There were cops standing there with my parents and Adisa looking all worried. Later on, Adisa told me that the phone tracker we put in each other's phones to find each other whenever we needed to know where we are, she said she used it. Since I didn't answer her phone. And when she found out I was in another country, she immediately called the police. I am in another country? I yelled. I was so shocked. I didn't even notice we drove for so long, but I was just happy to be home and that 28-year-old man was in jail now because he kidnapped girls and smelled them and he did that to about 30 other girls. I am just happy that I am not one of them. He's now in prison for eight years. I just now know that not all crazy people look crazy and that I can't trust anyone.